99% really I think what's cool. Did everything right. When it came time, you know, to, to start the third year rotations, he created, he, you know, wheeled and wheeled everything else to be able to do uh, an orthopedic collective immediately after the student rotation. As soon as you possibly could. Because he knew in his heart he was going to be an orthopedic surgeon. Right? Gotta do it. Just hate it. Just, just, just absolutely hated it. And this was so upsetting to him that he actually ended up taking a leave of absence. He took a year off to research, came back, you know, finished that medical school in grand style, and is now very, very happy, very successful, and very productive anesthesiologist. Okay? So even with that, I would still be kind of cautious. Okay? Because once you get there and start doing it, thinking about it, you know, every day, um, it can be different. Now, see, I started medical school uh, with the intent of being a heart surgeon. And then I was going to do uh, pediatric otolaryngology, give deaf kids their hearing back. And then I was going to be a kidney specialist. By this time, you know, I'm in my third year in medical school. And I, and the kidney thing, I was pretty close, all right? Uh, and then I found out about dialysis patients, which are challenging to me. Uh, and difficult. Most patients really struggle. And, and it's a chronic problem. And stuff. Why not cut out for this? And then somebody coughed on me and, and all right, there I was. Okay? But I, so I didn't actually settle on my, my specialty until I got left to do my residency. And we all went into a medicine. But, you know, the pulmonary thing is actually not Okay? So just be careful. All right? We've got four minutes. If you want to keep asking, if you need to take a break before Miami comes in, that's okay with me, too. You done? Great. Thanks for having us. One more So you mentioned, you mentioned communication is an essential skill to be a physician. Mm -hmm. And what other skills do you think are essential? To be a successful physician. Okay, good question. And then we'll end on this one. All right, because I'm sure that at least some of you need to use those other rooms out there for the back. Communication is probably the most important. And one of my mentors taught me that if you listen, the patient will always tell you what's wrong. Okay? The patient usually knows the diagnosis, they may not know its name. But if you listen, they'll tell you. So you've got to be able to listen and communicate. All right? Now, written communication is also extremely important because you create medical records that other physicians use as they try to assist in taking care of your patient, or they take care of your patient in your own way. Okay? Uh, I think you need to have good health, good physical health. Okay? And if you're not physically strong, you should ask yourself the question whether or not this is really for you. Okay? Um, I think you need to have an empathy. A willingness to, to see other people's conditions, to listen to them, and, and to feel some sympathy. And at the same time, you need to be an adult because you know, some things you have to do for patients actually cause them pain and discomfort to their best interest. Okay? I think you have to have a scientific curiosity. Now, <clears throat> one of the best decisions, descriptions of medicine I've ever heard it is that it is the most humane of the sciences the most scientific of the humanities, and the most empirical of the arts. Okay? So, if you can see yourself living that kind of world, then you're probably pretty good and pretty well prepared. The one thing that I think everyone who wants to have a career in medicine ought to do is you got to go out and find out how you feel about community service. If you don't like taking care of other people's problems, if you don't like assisting other people for no other reason, then it feels good to do it. And you probably won't enjoy that stuff. Okay? All right. Hey, thanks very much.